I, I was just doing some nether exploring and uh, I thought I would just share share some uh, some pain. Uh, I found these uh, these blaze spawners. They're real close to each other. Uh, one right here and one right here. Uh, the only problem is they are literally one block too far away. If I'm if I stand on this block, this one spawns. If I stand on this one, that one spawns. Ugh. That sucks. Anyway, I'm I'm doing some nether exploring. Um, I'm actually looking for a place to set up a wither skeleton farm. And uh, I'm just kind of checking every nether fortress to see if there's uh, th there's any goodies. Um, because there, there might be. There might be some uh, some good uh, stuff. But uh, I haven't found anything really promising yet. But uh, I'll keep it posted. Uh, I've scouted out a location. If you're wondering, I'm on peaceful, by the way. It just as I was flying through, I didn't want to, uh, I didn't want to waste stuff. Um, but I found this biome. This is not the most ideal, and actually, th there's a slightly more ideal uh, fortress right over here. As uh, when you make a farm, you ideally want to do it in the Soul Sand Valley, as uh, Soul Sand Valleys are really good because you don't need to slab a lot. But uh, kind of, kind of not great in that regard. Although this is not bad. This this is over lava, so that that's really really good. And uh, there's also a dual blaze spawner here. So like that's like perfect. It's like I can also set up a dual blaze farm while I'm here and make this like the generalist. Uh, farm and I can actually remove the other one that I have and make a more uh, make a more final one I thought I would just let you know that I'm gonna start uh, I'm gonna start slabbing on this area and uh, slowly but surely I'm uh, gonna be able to start so yeah I'll, uh, I'll see you guys back when I'm uh, at the uh, at the base and ready to start up what I'm actually doing today. Hey, uh, what's up? Uh, that little uh, that little start to the clip or to the uh, to the episode was uh, just me in the Nether. It's uh, probably a little chopped up because I, I edited it down. How uh, be? Yeah. Uh, today we are going to uh, start moving some villagers. Um. I have all these, uh, I have all these villagers here, well, I have five, which, uh, which is okay, but, uh, I, I, I would like to start to get, uh, some more villagers, and I know the, that hip hypocrisy is probably coming in on in full force, as I, uh, in the past had said, um, uh, Oh, I don't really want to do any villager stuff. I, I think villagers are OP. Yet here I am. I'm going to be doing some more villager things. But, I don't know. It just feels it feels weird to... Uh, have this at my disposal. And I'm, I want to do this for one pure, pure reason. Um... Redstone. <laughs> Redstone is a big pain in the butt to get, and I know it could be real easy if you uh, if you just use villagers. So like something like this, like a clerk. I know you can get the rotten flesh trades down, and like stuff like that. And I have endless amounts of rotten flesh, and you can do all that. So I'm planning on uh, doing a uh, a new villager trading hall. As I said. Initially, when I did this, I thought, hey, 
You know what? I could come up with a cool design for around this place. I kind of realized I don't think I can. I really don't think I can. Um, I maybe could, but I'm not in. I'm not fully in love with how it is. So what we're gonna do instead is, um, I'm gonna make a big villager trading hall, and I have some ideas for for how I want to lay it out. So uh, first, what I want to do, uh, I really want to get another beacon. Yeah, another beacon. Some more tier two twos and stuff. I don't need that. I don't need that. Yeah. So. Uh, what I'm planning is for down here, I want to widen up uh, right over here. And go, uh, go like really big. So eventually, I'm going to uh, probably remove this area. Or, or I'm going to make, I'm going to put things in this area probably eventually. Um, but I'm gonna go a little bit further and I'm just planning on opening it up into a huge room tons and tons of uh, layers and stuff I want to I want to have it be a room that I could possibly expand on in the future uh, but I also want it to be uh, like uniform have, have it make sense so uh, yeah, I'm gonna start. Uh, I'm gonna start digging this out as digging takes forever. And actually, this may actually be the first digging project I might use some TNT on. As uh, yeah, this will uh, th this this will be pretty big. So I'll be back in. Uh, a little bit once uh once hey uh i'm not quite done uh honestly i wasn't i wasn't really going to show anything yet uh i just wanted to point out that uh i i just let my other pick break <laughs> My, my netherite silk touch pick I just I just let break on complete accident so I guess I gotta get a new pickaxe okay sure I love me some terraria references oh there we go now have a uh a diamond pick again. Um, so yeah, I'll, uh, I will show you what I've done. So, um, I, I knew when I was doing this, this cave was here, but I didn't really put much thought and consideration into what I wanted to do with it. As was just like, oh, there's a cave here. But after looking at this cave, it's big, it's expansive, it looks really awesome. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to transform this into an underground village. I've uh, I've always wanted to do that uh, for multiple, multiple worlds that I've had now. But I've never really decided to... Uh, I've never really done it, though. So, I've uh, I've decided that I'm gonna do it uh, this time. <laughs> and uh, yeah, uh, this will not be a, a this episode thing. Probably not even the next episode thing. Maybe not for a while. Um, 
but I just think it'd be cool to have a, an underground village build. Uh, not have it actually be uh, a fully underground village, but I think it could be uh, it could be decent. And uh, I'd need to cover that up, cover that, cover this, and uh, really light up the area. But the uh, the stuff that we're going to be focusing on today is down here. How do you see it? Um, this room. Oh my god, there's so many Endermen. Oh, it's probably raining. That's why. Um. This jerk stole my dirt block. Um, but yeah, I have this, uh, this giant sprawling area now. Uh, which I'm going to put villagers all down here. Pretty much every other peg is going to be a village, a villager. This is the biggest villager trading hall I could think of making. And I'll, uh, I'll probably put little areas in, uh, like little side rooms and stuff that I, uh, that I think will be really cool. Uh, I'm going to keep with the, the, the normal block palette that I have currently as uh, I really like it um, and yeah this was like kind of uh, if you remember back to my old world I kind of made not something super similar but I, I had something that I thought would be interesting which uh, that was the uh, the other one where it was pretty much like this room, but it was only one side and it was like down here and up here. I thought it'd be really cool to do uh, to do the same thing, and I'll probably put bridges going across and uh, stuff like that. Um, I'm not quite ready to get villagers put in here yet, as uh, one big thing that I intend on doing with this is I intend on finally, uh, as you can see by uh, the, the gold apples, I intend on putting uh, like like dropping villager trade prices as uh, that, that was something that I really wanted to do before, but just didn't. Um, because uh, a lot of the, the prices are, are a little too expensive right now. But, uh, but yeah, this, uh, this area was uh, a pretty big pain in the butt to really deal with. You wouldn't be able to tell from here. It looks like, a, oh, it was all just a cave, but somewhere over here also I just realized I'm poking holes on my very nice looking flat wall um, it was somewhere over here um, there was a ravine which it might just be straight up yeah right here There's a big ravine that cuts through it, and uh, if you're wondering where this connects up to, it's that uh, it's that giant crater next to the base down the hill. Um, it's kind of cool that I actually have something here, um, as this was one of the things I wanted to do at some point was was put something over here, as uh, these are some cool generation. I think it's awesome. And, uh, yeah. So, the things that I'm gonna do now are, uh, just gonna keep going on, uh, making this place look 
better. I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to do the bridges across. Um, it'll probably just be something like, I don't know, like right here or something. Something like this. And then I'll put a I'll put dirt going across, and I'll maybe make this fence or glass or something, something so you don't have to uh, I don't I don't have to toss under pearls across every time I want to do something. And yeah, I wanted to uh, a big goal with this was I wanted to make it expandable, and I think I really did that. There is so much potential for uh, for villagers here that uh, I really do think that uh, that this is going to be really good. Um, I do have to get a, uh, a zombie over here, which I don't know how I'm going to do that, but I'll find a way. But get a zombie over here and uh, start really going in on the villagers. Uh, not the greatest security, but it works. <laughs> it does. So, what you gonna do about it? And uh, I also got all of this stone here that I'm gonna be uh, able to put into my. Uh, my wither skeleton farm. It'll be uh, it'll be great. So yeah, I gotta go grind and get my uh, my diamond pickaxe up to uh, up to code. But uh, I'll be back once I have something uh, a little bit closer. Maybe not fully decorated. But certainly something uh, more functional. So yeah, I'll, I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. Um, I've got a little bit of a little bit of a design going here. Uh, I pretty much just said what I would do is uh, just line the rails with uh, with glass and wood to keep the. Uh, keep this section looking nice and um, yeah uh, I'm, I'm thinking I might try to uh, maybe like from uh, from the staircase here uh, hmm, maybe I'll do it on the floor down where I'll, I'll punch out a hole in the wall right here And then I'll uh, I'll make a little staircase uh, to get rid of these ladders. As uh, I don't really want to do ladders, and I, I want to be able to use this area. Um, with well, ladders look ugly, and I'd like to use this area without the use of pearls and uh, firecrackers. But uh, for now, for now, this is fine. Um, but what I want to do now is I want to start bringing uh, villagers over as I'm going to start uh, infecting them with uh, like with a zombie and then I'm going to uh, start healing them and stuff so then I can uh, get really good trade deals I forget where I put it, oh, there's my there's my apples. As uh, I'd really like to start getting my villagers over here, and I'll uh, I'll maybe one day do a little bit of a better design in terms of uh, where I want them placed. But for now, I think the best thing I can. What I'm gonna do for now is uh, 
just kind of put them in the walls with their uh, with their station and uh, yeah but for now I gotta get them over here and I don't have many ways of doing that so I may just like do something like this where I get them over here, I put them in the hole. Then, yeah, like I'll like use rails or something. As uh, rails are one of the easier ways I can do this. So yeah, I'll probably just I'll probably just do that. Shouldn't be too bad. I just need to make a few. And uh, I only have five villagers to go. And obviously I have my uh, my villager breeder. As uh, I'm definitely going to start uh, going in. I think I'm going to collect up a bunch of uh, armorers. As uh, they're currently my best way of getting emeralds. Oh, oops, I didn't grab any iron. Um, I'll get a stack of 48, I guess. And sure, I'll use this. So yeah, I think the, hard, <laughs> the hardest part, I think it's just gonna be getting the zombie. As uh, that's going to be a wee bit of a pain in the butt. Okay, I went I went a little overkill on on rails, I guess. <clears throat> so, yeah. Um, oh wait, I have a chance of suffocating him in that. There we go. That worked. So, uh, I just have to do that. So, uh, I'm going to get the rest of these guys on the rail. And uh, I'll be back once I get all of them into that little pit. What the? Where'd he go? Oh wow, he got pushed real far. Huh. Uh, yeah, I'll be back. Okay. I'm back. I've uh, got the last villager here. Just gotta get him in. Okay, apparently not. Okay, that was kind of weird, um, but yeah, so uh, I've, got, I've got all the guys in there now, and um, all what I'm going to need to do is uh, just get a zombie over here now, so uh, I'm going to see where I can get a zombie. So yeah, um, maybe able to spawn one down here. Actually, I'll be back. Uh, 
I, uh, I kind of forgot about this. Well, I forgot, but this is in the area uh, for which I want to make this. So uh, this is a perfect opportunity to uh, to use it. This is uh, real, real close by. So I can, uh, I can maybe turn this into a system where I can easily get zombies. Um, so yeah, this is a uh, thing that's ready to go. And I'll just break the chests. In the future, I think I'm gonna turn this into a little uh, zombie uh, system. Oh. I just realized something. Um, I'll bring a bunch. This should... Yeah, this... Uh, good, my auto brewer is working. Yeah, this seems good. I don't know how many times you're supposed to re uh, redo it. Um... But I'll, uh, I'll actually make this into a system, a different system later on. Because I, I have a couple of ideas for designs that I can use. Uh, but for now... These guys are... These guys shouldn't be here. And I'll, uh, I'll just do that for now. I'm gonna get this guy out of here, as we only need the one. And I'll, uh, I'll fully light that up later. Oh, buddy bull pal, we got a, we got a long distance to go. Yeah, and I just now realized I'm uh, I don't know what the easiest way of getting these are. Okay, good. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Alright, bud. This is just stupid. Okay, there we go. No, no, not not there we go. What the heck? As soon as that first guy goes, it should be uh should be pretty quick. There we go. And... Fantastic. Oh. Thought that was the rest of them. Should be... Really? Really? They're back on me? Okay, there we go. Okay. So, now with the rest of them like this, I'll... Now uh, I'll now splash them and uh, use my stuff and then the zombie will reinfect them. And then I'll do it again and I'll do it again and again and again until I have good traits. All right. So uh, I'll be back once the, uh, the zombies are, well, not infected anymore, I guess. So yeah. I'll be back in a bit. All right, I'm uh, I'm back. I've uh, I've loaded up these two as uh, their uh, uh, all their trades are as low as they can go, and I mean the the only reason I 
am using armorers is because I have an abundance of iron. Um, these other guys, though, um, I mean, uh, this librarian, the mending librarian, I could take out. But the uh, the other two, uh, this guy doesn't have the lowest rotten flesh trade he can get. And uh, this guy doesn't have the lowest paper trade, nor the lowest name tag trade. And uh, those are things that I'd, uh, I'd really like to get low, as uh, paper is a, uh, it's a kind of easy resource. Actually, I don't, I don't think I showed this since uh, the last time. Um, yeah, the, the reed farm kept on glitching out. So I've decided that uh, I'm just gonna gut it. I uh, pretty much just manually harvested it. So I have a little bit, but uh, yeah, I, I just didn't like how it worked. And like these pistons kept on getting stuck and I don't even know what's wrong with them. So uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure just what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm just gonna uh, Uh, remove it and uh, I'm just gonna redo it because um, there's a there's a method that you can do because you can grow reeds on uh, the mangrove blocks now or the swamp blocks rather um, which makes it real real easy to do farms like this as it's the same farm but you don't need to rely on these so I think I'm gonna do that but instead of doing it like this I'm gonna do it in rows so I'm gonna like do like three to four going that way. And uh, I should be able to get much, much more efficient uh, rates that way. And um, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm pretty hopeful. Um, yeah, so in between um, now and next episode, uh, as I'm gonna end off here, because uh, there's not much for me to do left, besides just grind out villager stuff. Um, so between now and next episode, I'm gonna try and get some of these guys out. And uh, I'm just gonna keep on grinding them. I'm, I'm just gonna like try and get like four or five of uh, these guys and uh, get a couple more uh, books that I'm looking for, maybe a couple more of the uh, clerics as uh, rotten flesh trades are pretty nice. And like, and yeah, so like we have easy ways of getting glowstone now. Uh, bottles of enchanting are really cheap. Redstone was always cheap, but it's now cheaper. So, uh, yeah. I'll, uh, I'll see you guys uh, next episode. So, au revoir.